treatment of the Uyghur minority has found evidence of crimes against humanity and genocide. The findings detail systematic human rights abuses, including forced labor and torture. The chair of the tribunal, Sir Geoffrey Nice, explained how women were sterilized without their consent and families deliberately separated. Witness statements also described rapes and assaults in detention camps. Pressure is growing on Beijing after both the US and other countries announced diplomatic boycotts of the Winter Olympics. The US House of Representatives has also approved legislation banning imports from Xinjiang. Human rights groups believe China has detained more than 1 million Uyghurs over the past few years. Here's the chief of the Uyghur tribunal delivering the outcome. On the basis of evidence heard in public, the tribunal is satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that the PRC, by the imposition of measures to prevent births intended to destroy a significant part of the Uyghurs in Xinjiang, as such, has committed genocide. The tribunal is satisfied that President Xi Jinping, Chen Guangguo, and other very senior officials in the PRC and CCP bear primary responsibility for acts that have occurred in Xinjiang. Well, earlier on, I spoke to Erkin Sadiq, who is the president of the Uyghur Projects Foundation, and got his reaction to the tribunal's findings. I'm extremely happy because we have a connection back home. We always uh, we have always been getting bad news uh, from our homeland on the daily basis, and uh, but we are so voiceless in the international community. This tribunal gave us a, a legal basis to to hold the Chinese government accountable uh, for the crimes they committed against the Uyghurs and other Turkic peoples in East Turkestan. So we are very uh, happy about that. And this is a historic event for us. This tribunal was unofficial. What do you hope will come out of this? I hope the international community uh, moves faster than before and uh, take some action. So far, the Chinese government didn't allow anybody from the international community to go to East Turkestan and investigate. Uh, the, the outside world's finding so far is still a very little part of what actually happened in East Turkestan. I have some connections, sources uh, in East Turkestan and also in China's central government. I get many pieces of information, which is much worse than what was have been reported in the Western media. For example, even today, the Western media says more than one million Uyghurs have been detained in concentration camps. But my source in the top level, China's uh, police of the government, Department tells me about 9 million Uyghurs have been detained since 2014. Uh, this number may surprise many people. The Uyghur population is not 11 or 12 million, as Chinese government reported so far. It is about 220 million. So about from the 20 million Uyghur people, about 9 million have been detained in 2000, since 2014, and about 1 million people have died. So. We have even more details about that. For example, among those uh, 9 million Uyghurs, 2.1 million have been transferred to other parts of, of China and dispersed and disappeared. 1.8 million transferred from concentration camps to prisons and jails. And the rest, some of them have been transferred to forced labor factories in East Turkestan. Recently, the, the our foundation I uh, got a better list of the Chinese companies that are hiring Uyghur people as a forced labor workers in East Turkestan. The number is very huge, more than 14,000 factories in East Turkestan alone. So if one factory employs about 100 Uyghurs, this means they are currently they have 1.4 million Uyghurs being employed as a as forced labor workers in, in China's factories in East Turkestan. Okay. So the real situation is much, much worse. Erkin Sadiq from the Uyghur Projects Foundation speaking to me earlier. At least 49.